the combustion uh, safety. Yeah? Uh, though this chapter is uh, a little bit uh, long, yeah? um, what I want to do uh, is um, divide into two, two lectures. Today we do some, and uh, I, I'm going to go through the, the boiler uh, program uh, today, OK? Um, I already went through this with in the lab, uh, but uh, the the way the cars haven't seen that yet, so I'm going to go through uh, that today too. Uh, the boiler program. Okay, now, uh, so uh, this objective, you know, the just uh, we take a look the the fuel supply, uh, the the burner system, uh, and then the the CT switch or something like that, uh, and then the the burner management system. We will take a look to the uh, next uh, next next week, uh, and we will go through the uh, the typical program chart. Okay. Now, so the safety requirement for for the boiler, uh, it it will depend on the size of the boiler uh, because you know, the small boiler cannot afford to put the those sophisticated uh, um, switch in there uh, to 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 do do to protect it uh, so uh, the small boiler usually everything is really simple uh, but you have a boiler you know making uh, a quarter million pounds of steam uh, and then you can afford to put lots lots of different stuff in there so uh, so on this chapter uh, most of the stuff described in this chapter we will never see in a small boiler mm -hmm. so the coal coal book uh, uh, Garfin, the fuel system uh, is now the, in Canada, CSAB 1149.3. So those are the, about the fuel equipment. Uh, and the US, uh, the five protection of system, we, the, the safety authority adapt some of that too. Uh, and of course, uh, the ASME uh, uh, control and safety device uh, that is for the fuel too. Uh. Now, uh, the natural gas train, I think um, we went through this quite a few times uh, on the previous chapter, eh? okay? So today we'll go into uh, each uh, different uh, component. Eh? Take a look. Now the important thing in here is, you know, when when, it, uh, come, when the gas supply come in, eh? you have a pressure reducer, okay? Pressure reducer, eh? and then you have the low gas pressure cut out, eh? and then you have the two automatic gas valve, uh, what they call the fuel safety switch, uh, is the automatic gas valve, double block, and the bleed. Uh, and then you have the high gas pressure uh, cut out. And then this one uh, is a metering valve. So these uh, are the important component uh, of the gas train. Uh, and then we will go through this, uh, uh, each one of them. Uh, okay. Now let's take a look at the gas slide. Uh, uh, there's a word there, it's called occupancy. Eh? Now, the safety, eh? the, the safety is just in TSSA. Eh? Uh, the, they, they care about, you know, the, just like the, the risk, how safe is how much risk it, they can afford. Eh? So they <coughs> put in lots of what they, the occupancy cars. Eh? It is like, now, if you have a a plane uh, out of nowhere, 300 kilometers from the near the city, only a few people who are there, only your, you know, so the occupancy cost yeah, is really, really low. Uh, so not too much of risk uh, okay, for, for the rest of the population. Uh. But on the other hand, uh, <clears throat> if you have a shopping mall uh, at a college, uh, there's lots of people around. Uh, so that occupancy cost, it, this will be really high. Uh, but it's one step higher, uh, is and the hospital uh, in the uh, correction surface, eh, in the jail, eh, <coughs> they cannot move. Eh? So the occupants cars are even higher on those kind of situation. Eh? So on each different occupancy, eh, different requirement there, uh, it, the, the refrigeration is the same thing. Eh? Occupancy depend uh, the risk eh, depend on your occupants cars. Eh? So, all these things, uh, the gas line, everything, uh, you, the requirement, it, it depends on your occupancy class. Uh, okay. <clears throat> okay, now, uh, so on the gas train there, you have the main and pilot uh, 
man you set up well, eh? So those one is just isolation point, eh? And lots of them, eh? They are what they call the quarter turn, eh? Quarter turn puck well. Uh, no, the most against well is the is a puck well, eh? The puck well. The, you only require a uh, 45 degree, eh? From close to open, eh? So that's a puck well. The, the, the they use this for the gas line. Eh? Now, <clears throat> and then on the gas line there, eh, after the, you have the fuel pressure regulator, eh? just uh, reduce the fuel pressure. If the, the fuel pressure is too high, eh, you over firing, eh? it's just too, too big a fire. And then if it's too weak, eh, you might have exposure too. Eh? Now, if you don't in have enough pressure eh, and the frame will not stable, eh, and then it will lock, it will be, Extinguish, yeah, something like that. Huh? Now, <clears throat> the way it works in, in the gas line, the fuel regulator, so the gas company supply us uh, with 10 to 15 psi of gas from outside the building. Huh? So in our lab, it's 15 psi, but in most uh, <clears throat> the other uh, the other facility, huh? they are big boiler, they supply with 15 psi of gas. Huh? And then we use the pressure we uh, Pressure reducer, the pressure regulator, push it down to 2.5 psi. Okay. And then, uh, <clears throat> this right at the boiler, uh, the entrance of the gas channel, the product. So they push it down uh, even lower. When you're burning natural gas, uh, you, you do not need too much pressure. Uh, probably not a quarter uh, psi, uh, good enough. Uh. So from 2.5 psi, they reduce it to a quarter of psi. Uh, and then go to the front of the furnace. Uh. Now on on your pilot gas line, uh, the the half inch line, you do not need very very much uh, gas uh, to extract the pilot. Uh. So they even push it down, uh, even one more step, uh, even lower than a quarter psi uh, for the pilot gas line. Uh. So that is the uh, fuel pressure regulator. We found a lot of them in <coughs> in in there. <clears throat> now, so and then you have the low gas pressure cut off and the high gas pressure cut off. Eh? Now, so CSAP 149.1, uh, they dictate eh? if your boiler input eh, is a big in the boiler, they regulate you. Eh? So over 120 a kilowatt. And so if the pressure eh, drop down to the 50%, then the normal operating pressure of your furnace eh, it will shut it off. Okay. Now, on the other hand, uh, if the high gas pressure, the, uh, the, the gas is too high, uh, this time it's only 125% of normal operating pressure, uh, it will shut you off, okay? 50 and 125, okay? Now, the low gas pressure uh, cut off, uh, is, uh, is, uh, we just say, you know, 50%, uh, so the, 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 the reason why they have put in there is because you no, know, it happened quite a lot of situation eh, in the hot, uh, cold winter uh, uh, months. Eh. So the gas company, you know, does not have enough gas pressure. Eh. The the gas pressure dropped down to almost nothing, eh. and then it cannot sustain the 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 frame eh, on the boiler, and the boiler just uh, the frame just went out. Eh. But if you don't shut the automatic gas well. Eh, the, the natural gas will keep going there a little bit, sometimes go in. Uh. It could be, you know, when they, uh, the gas come back online, uh, all the gas go in there, you get no fame. Uh. But the problem is, it could have a chance that uh, there's a hot spot in the furnace itself, uh, and then you have explosion. Uh. So that is why the low gas pressure uh, it, it, it is there. Uh. This one uh, is the safety switch, uh, okay? Now, and the high gas pressure, uh, it, is near the furnace. So the fuel and the air, they always already predetermined. Huh? So it also then if you have too much high gas pressure, your fuel will be too rich. Huh? You, will, you might have a chance to expose it again. Huh? Now the high and low gas pressure uh, switch, huh? those are safety switch. Anytime you safety switch, when you trip, huh, you have to reset it before the boiler can go again. Huh? So those High low water cut off, uh, high steam pressure cut off. Those are safety switch. Uh, you need 
once you trip, you need to reset it before you go. Huh? Okay. Now, uh, now this one is the the automatic gas valve. Huh? Uh, they they call it the fuel safety sort of valve. Huh? It is the automatic gas valve. We call it automatic gas valve. Huh? It is a fuel safety sort of valve. The, there's another name for it. Huh? Okay. Now, uh, so when the boiler not in operation, huh, or there's some abnormal shit should happen, huh, the programmer will shut this one off. Uh, just a film fail, huh, you shut this uh, two off. Now, so on the low pressure again, low pressure boiler, you only need to require one, huh, but uh, the high uh, the high pressure uh, boiler, anything over 103 uh, uh, KPA, uh, you require two of them. Huh? Two of them, that's why you see the double block and the bleed between them. Uh, okay, now the characteristic of this one uh, is they open really, really slow, uh, but because they say this switch, so when it's time to close, uh, there's a piece of brick spring in there, close the, the fire right away. Uh, okay, so open really slow and close really, really fast. Uh, now, um, now, they they have an indicator, uh, indicator position of the valve. Uh. Now the the one on the number one boiler is, uh, is, is a little bit hard to find. Uh. But on the water two boiler in the lab, uh, there's a window on the side. Uh, you can see the fact that it's going up and down. Uh, uh, to, just uh, for, for the one in the water two boiler, when it's open, uh, the, the fact inside uh, it go down. Uh, Okay, so, so you, that one is really easy to see. Huh? Now the construction of, of this type of valve, uh, either diaphragm, uh, either solar or operate, or hydrometer valve. Uh, the hydrometer is, the, you have a small motor there, a, a pump, uh, pump up the pressure, the hydraulic pressure, uh, to slowly open up the, the valve. Uh, so that is why it's so slow to open. Uh, you have to pump up the pressure first before it open. Uh, okay. Again, slow opening, uh, fast closing. Eh? Okay, now the <coughs> okay now the input for <coughs> control valve that is a fine way control. Eh? Uh, <coughs> now, for us, eh, it's not a really fancy one. It's just a linkage eh, to the butterfly valve in the Kiefer book eh? <coughs> on <coughs> the modulator motor. One side hook up to the butterfly valve, and the side hook up to the damper. Eh? So that is your fine way control. Eh? Now let's say we take a look at it here. Now you see in here uh, the fine way control. Eh? What is right that? So that is a main burner. Eh? Okay. So this is the fine way control. Uh, so it's downstream of the low gas pressure cut off, and also downstream of the high pressure cut off. Eh? Okay. And Okay, so low gas pressure cut off, high gas pressure cut off, and then your metering valve, uh, that is a fine way control valve in there. So for, for ours, uh, it, uh, <coughs> it's just uh, uh, the, the butterfly valve, uh, okay. So the position, uh, make sure you know the position, it's downstream of the low gas pressure cut off and the high gas pressure cut off. Uh. Now the next one in, in the gas line, uh, this one, you know, um, we don't have in, in our lab. Uh, has, now on the big boiler, um, so this valve uh, is the last valve before the fine, the, the fine way control, uh, or it could be uh, before and after the fine control. Uh. Now on the big boiler, when you start the boiler, this, they require you to cold this valve uh, before you start it. So the idea is, they want somebody there when you start the boiler. So the operator got to be there. They want to prove uh, um, somebody there to, to operate the boiler. So that, that's why they put it in there. Now, some of the big boiler, uh, this one is too big. Uh, it, you cannot handle by hand. Uh, they use a motor to, to open it. Uh, but you still have an operator there to push the button. Uh. Now, the way to, they prove this one is, is cold. Uh, it had to be cold before you open it up. Uh. Oh, uh, start the boiler. So they have put a switch in there. The switch there, uh, they have a, a button uh, sticking out. Uh, so if you put the handle up, uh, the handle will push on the button and then keep the button closed uh, and then the the circuit is is closed and then you start the boiler. Start the, uh, the boiler. 
The next one uh, is on the pilot, uh, pilot, uh, pilot line. Eh? So that is the, the solenoid valve. Eh? Now, when you start the boiler, you hear the big click. Eh? So that is the one. Eh? So that is the solenoid valve. It's, it's a pilot safety sort of valve. Eh? Uh, so when you go through the program uh, up to the high purge, eh? and then the the programmer will tell this cylinder valve to, to open up eh? and turn on the igniter. Okay, and then you have a film. Eh? So if you, within a few seconds, if you don't have any, can accept the pilot film, eh? uh, it will, uh, it will uh, set off. Eh? Okay, now, uh, if you have the pipe main frame established, uh, so you have the pilot frame, and then the programmer tell the automatic gas valve to open up, uh, and then you extend the main frame, uh, and then uh, this this uh, cylinder valve uh, will close if it is uh, interrupt uh, interrupt type uh, uh, pilot. Okay, the most big boiler is interrupt type pilot. Uh, okay, now uh, but if the intermittent uh, and continuous uh, pilot, the this cylinder will stay open because the continuous uh, pilot is burning all the time. Huh? The intermittent pilot is burning whenever the main film is on. Huh? Okay, so if this is an interrupt pilot, so it will shut off after the main film establishes. Huh? So the fuel oil train. Huh? Uh, we take a, we took a look at the A trial chapter two. Huh? The only di di difference you know, between the gas and the uh, and uh, the oil is on the oil, they have the atomizing steam eh, or atomizing air uh, to shut, shut it off. Eh? And also, they have a low temperature, low oil temperature cut off too. Now, let the objective number two eh, it is a, a film detecting device. Uh, if you are in my lab, uh, we will probably uh, test uh, that. This film scanner, every every lab. Eh? Okay, now there are quite a few different types. Uh, thermal couple, a thermal pile uh, is for the the really small boiler, the hot water boiler, something like that. Eh? Okay, and you have the the film rods. Now the film rods is a bigger boiler, eh? but <coughs> most of big boiler they don't use a film rod. They use the the photo photoelectric cell. Eh? So that's what we have the photoelectric cell. The film scanner, so that is one we use. Huh? Okay, I would like you to just read the thermal couple huh? and the thermal pile. Okay, now let's say we take a look at the thermal rod in here. So the whole idea, uh, the operation principle huh, of the film rod is because the film uh, can conduct electricity. Huh? So if you put the film rod in one of the circuit, so <clears throat> if it's on, uh, your circuit will be closed, and then you can use the circuit uh, to open up your gas well. Okay. Now, if if the, the film is extinguished, uh, so that means you have an open circuit, uh, and then the fuel the the, the fuel safety valve, uh, the automatic gas valve will close. Uh, so that is the uh, <clears throat> the way it works. Uh, so uh, it's it's far it's quite fast enough respond time. Uh, uh, just as the the electric the film scanner, uh, electronic film scanner, good enough, uh, really, really fast. Uh. So um, it, some of the big boilers they use that too, uh, but most of them are just on a, a small boiler. Uh. So in this case, uh, the principal operation is your uh, film rod. Uh, it is uh, is a, is a, uh, electro, uh, okay. Uh, the burner, this burner here is an electro, and the, the burner is electro, eh? and then the film rod is all the way electro. So if you have something in between, join, join them together, eh? which is a film, eh? and then the circuit uh, will close. Eh? Now, but the problem is eh? uh, the, the electricity pass through eh, is not really big. Eh? You need an amplifier to amplify the signal eh? to keep the Keep the gas well uh, open. Okay. Now the next one. Uh, <coughs> uh, now, okay. So uh, there's uh, uh, another uh, precaution about the film rod. Uh, is when you're burning dirty fuel, dirty fuel, uh, just like oil, heavy oil. Uh, 
or the solid fuel, eh? and uh, the <clears throat> the hawk fuel or something like that. Eh? There's lots of soot, just like the back carbon. Eh? will cool the your the rod, eh? and then the electricity can and not pass through eh? the soot, the insulation eh? or to electricity. Eh? Now, <clears throat> so that means the film rod eh? cannot be used on the the dirty fuel. Eh? You have to use it on a thin fuel, just like natural gas. Huh? Okay. Now, so the film mod can also be a part of the uh, <coughs> starting uh, system on the boiler management too. Huh? Okay. Now this one, uh, the next uh, uh, category uh, is uh, quite, quite common. Okay. Now that's what we use. Huh? It's a, a photoelectric uh, film scanner. Okay, now the <clears throat> this device, uh, it will react to the light, uh, either infrared uh, or ultraviolet, okay, or any fire it made by the, the film, uh, okay. Now, if the scanner sends the film uh, and it will cause a, a film relay, okay, so, and some people call that relay, a uh, film fail relay, uh, so you close the relay and then the circuit is uh, complete uh, and then the gas valve will remain open, okay? Now, so uh, if you have an interrupt pilot, uh, so the pilot will shut off after the main film um, start. Uh, so that is the one of the requirements for this. Uh, is this, uh, this cell, uh, those are four little electric cell, have the position uh, so that you can see it can see the, um, the pilot film uh, and also the main film, okay? Because you know, one of them uh, will shut off uh, during the operation on the boiler, uh, okay? So that's why it is really, uh, really important that this one see both of them. Uh, okay? Now, this one is a picture of the, they take apart the burner. Uh, so I, I think, you know, this one, uh, ours, uh, the, the boiler in the lab uh, is something like that too. Uh, now, so there's a gas burner. The the wing outside there, that is a gas burner wing. Uh, and you see they have the igniter there and they have the the pilot burner there. And the, the scanner spot is in here. So if you have film in there, so that means you know, the, the scanner can see that too, uh, can see that. Uh, can, can see the, the main frame and can see the, the pilot frame, huh? okay? Now, so when during the programmer start, huh, uh, the programmer uh, will only open the, the, the pilot uh, gas after the, the, the high purge. Huh? So in this case, huh, you know, uh, after they see the frame uh, and then they open the automatic gas well. Uh, and if it, anything time uh, fail, uh, if you cannot see see the, the frame after the high purge, uh, so this one will shut the, don't let the gas well open. Uh, okay, so that's what they use for this. Uh. Now, there are three major types. Uh, uh, each one have their own characteristic. Uh, infrared, uh, ultraviolet, on the rectifier for a uh, uh, photo cell, uh, two different one, uh, okay? Now, for the infrared, uh, it can only pick up info, infrared uh, way. Uh, so in this case, that uh, the semiconductor, uh, the electric fission will decrease uh, uh, if, if the, uh, if the, it sees the frame, uh, so resistance uh, will decrease. So, and then you close the circuit. Uh, so all you have to do is just design a circuit uh, that require the resistance to be low before it go through. Uh, so that's the case in here, okay? Now, um, for for the frame, uh, uh, the frame usually, you know, if you look at the, uh, the frame from the, from the back of the boiler, you can see the frame is just swelling. Uh, so, and so, Within a, it's just a within a second. Uh, you can see sometimes you have a, you see a big, really big film, uh, and sometimes really small film. Uh, and for, now, if, next time when you look at a boy, uh, go to the front of the panel. Uh, they have something uh, to show the film signal. Uh, the film signal. 
uh, I believe, you know, it had to be five five volt uh, or five millivolt before it, it come on. Uh. So in there, on the front of the panel, uh, uh, it will show you the fluctuation uh, of the frame signal uh, in front. Uh, okay. Now, and sometimes, you know, because of those, those scanner, it, the, the electricity go for it's just too small. Uh, they need an amplifier uh, to amplify the signal uh, before you can uh, um, keep the relay in the closed position. Uh, okay. Now, so when, when the film is gone, uh, the resistance will increase. Uh, and then the film relay circuit will open. Uh, so now that's what uh, this uh, depends on the resistance of the circuit. Uh, the film will uh, decrease the resistance. Uh. Now, okay, let's take a look at Now, one of the characteristics of the infrared uh, is it can be used on a dirty film. Uh, just like if you burn in heavy oil, uh, bunker C, uh, <coughs> bunker C uh, or, or burning the, the wood chip uh, or burning coal, uh, the infrared is good. Uh, it can take the, uh, take the dirty film a little bit better than the ultraviolet. Uh, okay. Now, <coughs> so the ultraviolet, the only um, sense the ultraviolet uh, by emit by the film. Uh, okay. Now, the problem for this type of scanner is really sensitive. Uh, any light source uh, will trigger it to be uh, the circuit codes. Uh, so that is why, you know, when you, <coughs> when we are in lab, uh, when you're doing the, the uh, scanner take, test, uh, uh, I ask you to you know, just take it out uh, and cover the, the scanner with your hand uh, so that all the other lights uh, do not make it the uh, codes. Uh, so this one is really sensitive. Huh? So uh, that means uh, when when during the starting of the uh, the, the program, uh, you have the spark. Uh, before the film is in uh, uh, established, uh, you have the spark. So those spark uh, might fool your scanner as a as, uh, film. Uh, so in this case, uh, uh, you have to redirect the, the, the igniter uh, so that the uh, film scanner doesn't see the spark. Uh. Okay. That is one of the drawbacks on this, uh, or the ultraviolet. Uh. Now, uh, and then there's another tire, uh, the rectifier, photo cell, is the cadmium uh, oxide cell. Uh. So, now, th th this one, uh, it's just, you know, you you use this uh, as a as a cathode, uh, and then you have the anode wire, uh, and when when the uh, the cathode produce some spark, uh, and then the circuit will close. Uh, okay. Oh oh, what happened there? Now, so it will produce some some uh, uh, ultraviolet, and this one the full of it. Uh, now, so if the cathode uh, it exposes a light, uh, just like the film. Uh, it emit the electron uh, to will be picked up of the end where uh, you have a cold circuit uh, and then it keeps the um, gas well uh, 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 open. Uh. So three different types, uh, three different characteristics, really simple. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, now uh, I'm gonna to start here and then we take a look uh, some of the the D2L question. Uh. Now I have <coughs> I have not uh, pulled this one yet, uh, because you know um, I still thinking um, uh, I should publish the 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 data bank or not. Uh. Uh, <coughs> so this one is uh, part of the data bank. Uh. So uh, I probably will, maybe I'll I'll pull, post this one too. Uh. Now on this one, some of them. Uh, it's not uh, from the the data bank. Uh, some of them is from the from the exam question bank. Uh, okay. So now let let's say we, we take a look in here. Just like uh, test your knowledge. Uh, just like the few slides in there. Okay. Just take a look in here. Uh, now uh, the, this one is about the high gas pressure cut out. Uh, so how many percent of normal gas pressure before the the high base a high pressure gas uh, uh, cut cut you out. Uh. Okay, I think I got the an answer already. I, it's correct too. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Uh, so the low, uh, <coughs> the low 
low gas pressure cutoff is 50% of the normal operation. Eh? So the, the high gas pressure cutoff eh, is, uh, yeah, I think, Shane, you get it right. Eh? Uh, so it's uh, 125%. Eh? Okay. Now, uh, so number two, eh? <clears throat> so this one is easier. Fuel should be shut off immediately if the fuel to ignite eh, to do something. The fuel should be shut off immediately. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks everybody get it right, yeah. Uh, to prevent the uh, the furnace explosion, yeah. Uh, because you now if you don't shut it off, uh, uh, it could be too rich in there, and when you start it, uh, can can explode. Uh. Okay, number two two eleven. Uh, or oh, the main function of the film fail device is to uh, now this question is it, just too simple. Eh? Now they yeah, I, I think everybody get uh so okay now. Uh, yeah, uh, I think everybody got this. Uh, it's a sort of a fuel when the, the burner film goes out. Uh. Now, one of the choices uh, they, they should put in you know, to, to shut off the electricity. Yeah, and then they have to, and because a lot of students think, you know, the, when the film fail, uh, <coughs> when the film fail, uh, it will shut off the electric circuit uh, uh, to shut off water. But it's not the true. Uh, it shut off the main. Uh, Set up the, the fuel valve, uh, the automatic gas valve. Uh. Okay, <clears throat> now uh, this one is an easy one too, actually. No, the film scanner sends both the pilot and the main film uh, all come in the surface after the main film is established uh, or is used only during the startup period or sends the ultra wireless line. Yeah, looks like everybody, everybody get it. Eh? It just say it sends the uh, both the pilot and the main film, eh? because during the the course of operation, eh? sometimes you only have the pilot film, sometimes you only have the main film. Eh? So the scanner had to be able to see both of them eh? before it works. Eh? Okay, what's this one? Eh? Okay, I think this one is easy too. Eh? The main gas shut off valve, uh, the automatic gas valve is. So, what one of them is. Okay, so nobody want to try? <laughs> I only have one answer. <laughs> so that is an automatic gas well. Huh? What is the characteristic of the, the automatic gas well, the fuel shut off well? Huh? Yeah, I, I think, yeah, I think you, uh, yeah. You're right, yeah. If you choose speed, that's right, yeah. It open really slowly, yeah, and close really fast, huh? So that is a characteristic because it is a safety switch, huh? If something happens, huh, will dangerous happen? You want to slam it shut right away, yeah. So that is by design, yeah. Now, it, it is not located between the furnace and a fuel control valve, huh? Now, so, uh, now it's so the, the location of this valve, huh? is uh, upstream of the fuel control valve, uh, not, not between the furnace, so, that, so D is wrong. Uh. Okay, that's good. Thank you very really much. Now, uh, I think that's it. This one is here. How much time I have? 
Oh, I I have a few minutes, huh? So now, okay. Now I I will finish the chapter two next next Thursday, yeah. Okay, this, this chapter is long, huh? Now instead of going through the burner management system, uh, uh, I I'm gonna to go through the the um, the programming chart, huh? Uh, so if you are in my lab, I went through this already. Yeah? Uh, but I I just hope you know it just uh, uh, just bear with me. Uh, I think that the where's the cars uh, need to know this one too. Uh. The the programming chart, uh, the programmer chart is really useful when you are doing the the troubleshooting. Uh. Now, what the, the boiler programmer do uh, is. Many years ago, probably 20 years ago, uh, when the, the electronic is not advanced, uh, so they have a mechanical programmer. They have lots of time, lots of key inside there. Uh, it's really bulky. Uh, and so what they do it is they use this one uh, to uh, safely start the boiler. But as the electronic uh, become more advanced, uh, so they put a small computer in there. You see the one, the blue thing uh, in front of the control panel, uh, that is actually a, a mini computer inside there. So they use the, the mini computer uh, to help safely start the, the boiler. And after it starts, uh, they also monitor the operation of the boiler. So anytime you have the um, abnormal situation, uh, I just say, you know, the uh, high high steam pressure uh, or low water cut low water uh, high water level something like that or you lost a gear pressure uh, normal uh, the programmer will shut off the boiler okay so that is what it is used for uh. now so I like the old version uh, better than the the new one they put in there uh, this one uh, because this one uh, is pretty much exactly what our programmer in the in the boiler one and boiler two do uh, that's what it, it, they they do in there so that's why I, I show you this uh, in the other one uh. okay now so when you push the start button uh, or flip the switch on uh, the mini computer uh, underneath uh, it will check for the limit switch uh. so some point they call this a uh, permissive uh, Permits have the permission to start the boiler. Permissive, so but uh, lots of people call it uh, just a limit switch. Uh. Now those are limit switch uh, <clears throat> is the safety switch. Uh, the high low high and low water cut off. Uh, high and low gas pressure cut off, uh, and the high steam pressure cut out. Uh, okay, those are the limit switch. Uh. The last one list in here is not the limit switch. It's an operation limit switch. Uh. Now, the operation limit switch is not safety switch. It cut out at 125 uh, and cut in at 110 or 115. Uh, <coughs> everything automatic. So <coughs> there's no need to reset. Uh, okay. So if all those switches are closed, uh, it will go to the next step. But if any one of them uh, is open, uh, it will go to no, uh, go to the shutdown procedure. So for the shutdown procedure, for us, the small boiler, is the whole procedure is just that turn, do a post purge uh, for 15 seconds. So that means you keep the fan on, damper open, uh, push all the gas out to the chimney uh, for 15 seconds. So that is our uh, uh, shutdown procedure. Okay. Now, if everything is, is okay, uh, you go to the next step uh, and then start the fan. Eh? So anytime if you see the, the fan start, uh, so that means all these ones are okay, huh? Everything should be okay before the fan start, okay? Now, after the fan start, huh? they, they check the air proofing switch. So, now, the reason why they put this in, huh? because now, if the motor is turning, not necessarily have air go through the boiler, because the, the, the coupling or the fan could be broken, huh? The, the fan could be stuck, huh? something like that, huh? So, they have to make sure there is air go through the the, the wind box. Uh, so that is the air proofing switch in here. 
So if there's this one, uh, by the way, uh, uh, the next lecture we'll take a look at the inside how the construction. Uh, this this one is the passage which. Uh, now if there no air go through there, you just start to uh, do the shutdown procedure. Uh, so the, so the boiler off. So if there's air go through there, and then you go to the high perch. Uh, so on the on the boiler, our boiler, uh, you see the head moon uh, open up the damper hundred percent. Uh, okay, and come to. 30, yeah. So at the moment, if you go to the front of the boiler, you can see uh, they come from zero to 30. Uh, 30 second, a uh, high purge, pulls all the combustible gas uh, out to the chimney. Yeah? Okay. Now, so the bigger boiler requires a uh, bigger, uh, longer period. Uh, so our is 30 seconds, and the big boiler may, may require you know, six minutes, seven minutes. Uh, the sour gas pan uh, might require almost one hour per purge uh, before you, you do this. Uh, so that is the high purge, uh, that's a per purge. Uh, okay? Now after, after the high purge, uh, you see the damper cold. Uh, when it cools uh, a little bit, so it wait a little bit first uh, before they turn on the igniter and the uh, pilot gas in on the valve. There's a, a small oh, oh, a few seconds that, that is called a low purge uh, so at the empire coast. Because you know, if you start the, the, the pilot right there, too much air will blow it off. Uh, just like you know, start a barbecue during a windy day, uh, you blow it off. Uh. So in this case, uh, and then the programmer will turn the uh, igniter on and turn on the cylinder as well. Uh, okay. Now so after this, uh, you should see film. Uh, so if if the uh, film scanner does not see film, uh, it will shut down the boiler. Now, if the uh, the film scanner sees the film, uh, it will go to the next step. It will cause what they call the film fail switch. Uh, it's just a relay. They cause the relay is behind the panel. Uh, and then allow the automatic gas well, uh, the, the few two main gas well uh, to, to open. Uh, Okay, now after those two two gas valve open, uh, within ten seconds, uh, you should see the main film established. Uh. If within the the ten second, uh, the, if the you don't see the the main film, uh, and then the gas valve will be closed, uh, and then the boiler whole thing shut down. Okay, now if you see the film, uh, after you see the film there. And no, if no, uh, it just open the film fail switch uh, and shut it down. Uh. So if you see the film there, and then uh, the film scanner will be just uh, will be con continue in surface uh, until something happen. Uh. So when once when the uh, the film scanners uh, come on, uh, it will stay on all the time. Uh. Okay. So in this case, uh, you detect the film. So when you detect the film, uh, and then you are you starting program, uh, we will go to sleep, uh, and then another the, the mini computer inside that they will monitor all the situation to let the boiler run. Uh, just like uh, high low gas pressure, uh, high high low gas water, high steam pressure, and the operation limit. Uh, so any one of them is open, uh, will the boiler will, will shut down. Uh, so now. If the, the operation limit, let's say you fire it up to 125 high, uh, PSI, it's an off. Uh, and then when when it somebody uses steam, uh, it the pressure comes down uh, and then it all over again. Uh, so and then you check again and it start and then check all the limit uh, and then start the fan, uh, air proofing to go through it again and again. Uh, so that is how it how it operates. Uh, okay. Now this programming chart uh, is really useful for uh, troubleshooting. Eh? Now, I, I think last week it happened uh, a couple of times. Eh? Uh, last week, uh, what happened was, eh? so one group start the boiler and it go through the, it went through the high purge eh? somewhere in here. After the 30 seconds, eh? you are supposed to hear the click and then the pilot, uh, the igniter will come on. Eh? But somehow, eh? after the high purge, the whole thing just drop, everything stop. Eh? So you want to find out why. Eh? So you go through the high purge, but then no pilot frame. Eh? So in this case, eh, if you do the troubleshooting, you look for something uh, underneath 
the bulk. Eh? So because it go for high pressure, so that means all the low uh, low pour, low water cut off, high pressure, high pressure, all those fire, everything should be okay. Otherwise, the fan you don't want to start. Eh? So anything about this eh, is not the power. Not a problem. So you look for something underneath. Eh? So what could it be? Eh? You go for the purse. There is no pilot film. Eh? So no pilot film. You look at it. No pilot film. Eh? It could be the cylinder fan not opening. Eh? Or your igniter not not no spark. Eh? Or one simple thing is somebody oh, forget to open the small gas valve for the pilot light. Eh? So those are things that you're 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 looking for. Eh? So last thing, I think, you know, uh, somebody forgot to open the, the gas well. Eh? So that is the way to, to, to troubleshooting. Eh? Okay. Now I give you another example in here. Eh? Okay. Now let's say, you know, uh, you see the pilot. Eh? You go through, you go for the hard eh? the signal, the click, eh? and then you go to the side, eh? go to the back. You see the pilot, pilot frame. Eh? So, and then the boiler shut down. Eh? So you, you saw the pilot inside there, but the boiler no go. Eh? So what you do, eh? you just go, go in here. You look for where is the, the pilot. Eh? So way in here, this problem. Eh? So N is an igniter and pilot. So you should see thing in here. Now you actually, you saw thing in here, but somehow eh, after this, the boiler shut down. Eh? So what you want to check uh, is not anything about the bulb. Uh, you want to check anything, you, you already see film, anything that below the bulb, okay? So now below the bulb, uh, it says the cause of film field switch uh, energy to main gas well, uh, okay? So you look for some trouble in here. So that means you, know, you can say, oh, it's supposed to cause of film field, film field switch uh, and energy the main gas well, uh, so in this case, uh, your trouble, it could be the frame fail switch never close. Uh, it's broken, it never close. Or it could be your, your main gas rail uh, malfunction uh, in a close. So that because uh, now another, another one uh, could happen is you get no gas and the lie. Uh, now, so in, in this case, uh, it, it will not be the high low gas pressure a cut out uh, because no, when you go through so many steps to here, uh, so that means the high and low gas pressure is okay. Uh, so, and on the big boiler, it could be somebody forgot to, to open the last gas valve. Uh, okay. So, that is the, the one of the possibility. Uh, okay. So, that is how you, how you uh, troubleshoot. Uh, okay. Okay, now, uh, there, I think there is some, uh, some question about troubleshooting in there too. Uh. Uh, I think, you know, you, you use this chart uh, uh, better than the one in the, in the book. Uh. Okay, so this chart is in, in D2L already. Uh. I might have uh, put some voice over there too. Uh. Like I see the microphone, there's some old way over there. Too, uh. Yeah, okay, so... Um, that's all I have today, and next week we will continue on on the uh, on chapter two. Eh? Okay, so uh, I I want to slow down and think a little bit eh? because though I don't want to rush. Eh? Okay, so far now is any question? Okay, no. so we still have a couple minutes. <laughs> Okay, so good. Thank you very much. If no question, you, you can leave. Uh, we, we finished a whole minute earlier. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. And uh, yeah, next week we finish. Okay, thank you very much. I'll see you next week.